Hello boys and girls, welcome to 1717. In today's video, we're gonna, well, I guess we're gonna begin to install the Cobb Tuning Flex Fuel Kit. Last episode, I only managed to unpack the whole kit. In this one though, I am gonna mostly install it, but I will run into an issue, which is gonna delay me for the next episode. But we are gonna see some cranking action this time. All right, so as always guys, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. I want to thank the one, the people that subscribed already. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. Hopefully more of you will show up soon. So in advance, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Okay, so they did provide a bunch of connectors. The white ones are for the stock fuel lines. Hmm, this way or this way? Maybe this way. Okay, easy enough. It actually may look nicer if I point the white stuff up. I can always twist it when I'm ready to remove it. That was simple. All right, quick update. Started with the fuel pressure sensor harness. So this end plugs into your sensor and the other side of the harness you need to plug into your passenger side TGV, which in my case, those are gone. But if you still have them, you would find it right here at least that's what the picture shows now i did I obviously i didn't connect them because i don't have them anymore so the connectors were just tied up and i had quite a bit of fight to get this in here because it's all the way down there i had to tie a zip tie but mine's all the way down there so this one would plug into the front of the TGV and there is another one for the rear TGV. In 07s uh, there's only one. In 05s I think it's the same as the 06. Anyways, um, they say to run this harness underneath the intake but you can run it however you want to. It's entirely up to you. I'm not about to remove the intake just to run an, a harness underneath it and you can see it's pretty packed. I tried actually from this side forget it it's not not enough room so i'm just going to probably just run it along these two hoses for the oil catch cans probably just kind of tuck it in underneath and zip tie it and somewhere here so this is where everything is going on you're only going to the passenger side only to plug in this harness that's it most of the work that's done is on the driver's side. There are actually two ways you can install the pressure, the fuel pressure sensor, which is this guy here. If you have a Cobb a fuel rail, then you can install this directly to it. I don't. I'm going to have to use this adapter. Simply what, it, what you do is you you gotta apply some Loctite here and they want you to take this plug out and apply Loctite here too. So depending on how I'm gonna install this, I mean they're gonna put it here or here so you can switch the plug around and they want you to use red Loctite which is provided. You can also use yellow Teflon tape that you would use on gas uh, or dryer gas lines it's uh, basically your regular Teflon, just a little bit thicker compared to your blue one. So you can either, I mean, obviously I'm going to be using this, but I can either, I can plug this in right here, right straight to the fuel line, feed that is, but you can do either feed or return. So remember, on the intake manifold, top one is feed, bottom is return, that's EVAP. On the firewall, Top one is return, middle is evap, and bottom is feed. 
I'm gonna be installing this uh, both the sensor and the flex fuel sensor the, pre the fuel sensor and the flex fuel sensor uh, both on feed right now I decided to mount the little module for the flex fuel it mounts directly on top of the intercooler bracket so you simply remove the 12 mil and install it with the allen what is it what size was it the 6 mil allen bolt almost looks like factory anyway there's there is uh, three harnesses here one will drop down the longest one will drop down uh, down to the floor just drop it make sure you run it away from the steering shaft right there so I'm gonna mount it zip tie it to the harnesses along here and somewhere I'm gonna decide later where I'm gonna mount it and that, that connector goes to the O2 sensor the rear O2 sensor the other harness goes this one goes to the driver's side TGV and I actually managed to dig it out I have to decide how I'm gonna where I'm gonna zip tie the slack so it's nice and clean and then this guy the brown plug goes to the actual flex fuel sensor but I still haven't figured out where I'm gonna mount the the whole shebang here I'm probably gonna mount the pressure the fuel pressure pressure sensor on here and then run a short fuel line and possibly mount the flex fuel sensor somewhere here I'm, I may keep this bracket and then decide later on how I'm gonna secure the fuel lines because this secures your fuel fuel line remember this these two I'm using I'm already using for the oil, oil catch I'm not gonna change that I put I put too much work in this little bracket and this is the ideal space it makes this holes really short for the oil catch can so I gotta fit it here somewhere they do provide a bracket which is nice but I cannot use it okay little correction I was just talking to my tuner because I was wondering was I supposed to get fuel lines as well but he I would basically the instructions say to get rid of these and make your own fuel lines my tuner says keep these and install the sensors fuel and flex in between the dampers and the fuel rail here which starts right here didn't really have to take these off the flex sensor will go on the return which is this one here the fuel pressure will go on the feed which is here and you want it as close to the fuel rail as possible so I did not have to take these off at all so I still have to figure out how I'm going to mount this all right a quick update so the flex fuel sensor that's going to get mounted right here I had to shorten this brake booster line to bring it lower and away because before it ran right here so just to make more room I actually cut it here this much and actually it worked out really good so I mounted this bracket another bracket which this is for an 05 the cob bracket anyways yeah so that's where it's gonna sit and all the connectors besides these two I've used up on this flex sensor now I am keeping these dampers okay and I ran into an issue this adapter it's 3 8 inside and this is 5 16 so these two will not match there is a picture on cobtuning.com on the instructions that say you can just mount this or connect it straight to the fuel rail well not in my case I don't know if they made a mistake or they sent me a wrong one hopefully they have a good sized one that I need I'm gonna call cop tuning tomorrow and see if they have a or a 5 16 to 3 8 so this would be 3 8 
and this needs to be 5 16 now this fits easily on these hard lines on the flex fuel sensor those are 3 8 so these blue ones are actually adapters from 3 8 to 5 16 so I could actually connect the fuel pressure sensor right to the flex fuel sensor and mount them both on either uh, return or feed but and cap tuning says it's okay but my tuner you know I'm, I'm gonna trust my tuner this guy he knows what he's talking about and he's been doing this he's tuned quite a few cars so he knows he's got experience is what I'm trying to say so he recommends attaching the flex fuel sensor to the return and the fuel pressure sensor to the feed so that's what I'm gonna do so I do have to find this adapter so I am gonna reuse I'm gonna try and reuse this bracket here I'm gonna have to probably bend it up a little bit remember this oil catch can goes in here so I'm trying to make room for all this stuff it's actually working out so this is basically done I just gotta finish it up a little bit here and there and I'm probably gonna shorten this holes over here to bring this a little bit closer to the firewall and this adapter with the sensor is gonna be right in between I've actually been using the little clamps from my old fuel lines fuel rail let's check out the freshly painted oil pen two-tone oil pen one of a kind I know what it looks like like I said before I don't care if this was a part that I would look at every time I, I looked at the car or under under the hood I would make it look nice but it's not it's underneath I'm only gonna look at it whenever you know I'm doing an oil change or whatever and if this was the only thing I'd be working on if this was the oil pen was my, the only project then I would make it look nice but I got a bunch of other stuff to do I don't got time for for, for details for you know to make things unnecessary things to look uh, to make them look nice so since the oil pan is ready to go that's what I'm gonna do install the oil pickup tube the the pan the oil cooler uh, you know whatever I took apart underneath the car finish that up get it off and um, oh yeah I, I still have to install the auto sensor connector from the flex fuel module I'm gonna do that right now and I'm gonna show you what I did all right it's been about 24 hours finished up various things here in the engine bay I'm waiting on the cob adapter so they sent me a 3 8 on both ends and what I need is a 5 16 so I'll be actually be able to either hook it up straight to the rail or to this connector this is 5 16 it all depends on room I'm probably gonna use this connector just so it's a little bit farther away from the intercooler so it's gonna end up right here yeah so this is too big I knew there was something off I called them today perfect service no argument nothing yeah you need this yeah sorry and you know it's on the way and they actually overnight it I'm gonna get it tomorrow anyways I'm not putting the cover back on anything else this is good just to crank it stuff underneath it's all done the cooler the exhaust here and the beautiful two-tone oil pen battery is a is at about I'd say 12.4 volts which is okay all right this is the access 3.0 I already uploaded the new map which is temporary just to get the car going it's very simple just follow the on-screen instructions the the green connector it's underneath the uh, driver's side kick panel it's a green plug you gotta connect and then disconnect all right this is it where's the clutch all right guys watching watching that oil little oil light and the oil pressure gauge it's 
It's actually cranking a little faster, I think. From uh, last time. All right, gauge is moving. All right. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna chill for a little bit and give it another go. I gotta say, this is a relief. It was the oil pump, it was the dry oil pump. It just could not, it's like the, the garden water pump effect. You know, you have those, um, you got your, uh, I actually have a setup. I have rain barrels. Uh, around the house in the back of the house in the back of the garage and I hooked up I hooked up all those barrels to one pump and Whenever I want to you know water something uh, I Gotta turn on the pump obviously, but I have to prime it well one once you know If it goes if it goes dry or if I empty it out then I gotta prime it anyway, so There's a little screw on top right on top of the pump unscrew that fill it up with water put the screw back on and the pump will uh, suck water no issues if you will not prime it basically you know put water where the screw is then that pump will spin forever it will never suck uh, water through it's the same thing happened here i i took the pen off didn't have to but you know i got a different one hopefully that's gonna work out it's not gonna leak it does hold a quart of oil more. I gotta still figure out the pressure and the level. Uh, I think if I I do have to add, I'm probably since I'm running the sandwich plate between the uh, cooler, the stock cooler and the oil filter, I am getting getting a little bit of oil there too. So before the this WRX. Uh, pen I had to put in maybe 5.2 quarts now it's gonna probably gonna be 6.2 maybe 6.3 which is good all right let's try this again clutch in wait for the this thing to shut up all right look at it go Look at this thing go. Holy shit, 90. Oh yeah. No oil on the floor. So far so good. I'm gonna take a closer look uh, around the engine bay and underneath make sure there's no oil leaks whatsoever. And I'm prob I'm gonna bring it down to the floor on its fours. And I'm probably gonna start it. I got the lo I I I've, I've got the map uh, loaded up. It's well, I can't start it, I gotta put it back together. Never mind. So I'm gonna set it down. No, I can't start it because I don't have the adapter. What am I what am I saying? I got all I got all excited. <laughs> Alright, okay. Tomorrow when I get the adapter, that's when I started.